All right, so we can Pants, Sharon, Horde Dragon. I think those are kind of our options. Um, I just played Horde Dragon, and I think it probably overall has a less... It, it, it's probably less good in this than it is in most. Um, we don't have nearly as much time to sort of mess around and, and find stuff, so if we miss with Pants, it's pretty bad. Um, my Peter Pants conversion rate to first is not super high. Um, if we're looking for like third, that would be what we would want. I think we're just going to take Sharon. Um, we can really play whatever with this, and uh, honestly, I think it's just a reasonable amount of stats. It has about the same average placement, but a higher win percentage um, than my pants does. So, uh, not quite Galahad, but we'll we'll take it. All right, so we have one bot. We have a Pied Piper. It's unlikely for us to win this um, anyway. I think we're going to take the Happy Little Tree, because ideally this is what I would want to be on anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lock in this spot for the Sugar and Spice on the Happy Little Tree. Gives us a little bit of extra attack early on. Um, and then we're probably going to take either the Sure Shot or the Baby Root. So if the Happy Little Tree dies in the first combat, we're probably going to pick up the Baby Root. If it doesn't for some reason, maybe they don't present something, maybe they shrunk... Uh, then we will uh, likely... Okay, so that's good. So we're probably going to buy the Baby Root then instead of the Sure Shot. Not that the Sure Shot is bad, but this gives us an interesting space where we likely are going to win combat here and then not get a buff, which is kind of sad, but I guess I don't really care because winning combat is more important than getting buffs. The Hero Power is great. But our worst case scenario is that the happy little tree, like, you know, maybe they have double Minotaur or they have cat and Minotaur or something, and then this ends up trading into that, and that's fine. Because um, if it dies, it just gets even bigger, and this is going to carry us for quite a while. Uh, that's actually fine. Not exactly what I would have wanted there. It's a bit of a disaster, in fact. That's not fine. That sucks. Uh, this is a really good pickup here, though. So we'll get our happy little tree here. Uh, I think we're going to free roll. I do like this. I think I'm going to lock for the Lonely Prince, in fact. Uh, we'll grab this. We'll move these over. We'll do it something like this. And then we'll pick up the Frog Prince next turn. And depending upon who our opponent is, we might even for glory. We'll see. There's maybe a world where I sell these two for the Frog Prince this turn, but I, I think this is fine. Uh, we do want to lead on the happy little tree here as well. The bigger one. Just in case they have a stag. Uh, that is fine. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one of those gets killed. Um, the, honestly, the one on the left probably would have been better just so that it stacks the stats more appropriately. So we're against Galahad, who is at 36 still. Uh, we'll buy the Frog Prince and I think just roll once. A Creeper would have been a huge pickup here. Uh, I think we're just going to take the Pig. I actually think Pig is pretty, pretty great in this spot. Um, I believe that we can rearrange something like this. Possibly even this. I, I think I want to do something like this configuration. Our backline is not particularly strong, um, but this gives us the most attack slash health with the Frog Prince plus the Happy Little Tree. Um, the Baby Root is probably going to need to get cut soon here for a Creeper. Uh, hopefully we're able to keep this prize Pig Gold. Um... The prize pig gold would actually give us a very, very solid um, amount of uh, boost to be able to find the creeper that we need. Uh, so they haven't tripled yet, which is good. Uh, they do have a large poly here. So our frog ends up getting a buff. Not ideal there, but it'll be fine. So as long as this hits here, our pig is going to live, which is great. So our pig lives, we get extra stats. Our frog is a bit bigger now here as well. Um, so I think in this spot, 
I don't mind the Good Witch. I don't love the Good Witch, but I don't mind it. I think we'll grab the Good Witch, and then we're just going to roll. So here's a Creeper as well. So I definitely think that we grab the Creeper. Trying to figure out how to position this properly. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to sell the baby root. We're going to mix a whizzle this. Then we're going to run the greedy in the front. Five nine, this is a nine nine. I think we need the nine nine in the front. Yeah, let's lead on the nine nine. Um, we're gonna we're gonna triple up our creeper here next turn, and hopefully we're strong enough to compete. The happy little tree obviously is very very large here, um, but it's basically their only unit, so we should do okay. Depending, so this is gonna hit in here. So our pig dies. Crap. Well, that was unfortunate. Pretty bad run out for us. The specifically seven attack that that ended up having uh, was really not ideal. So we have no slay. We're basically playing trees and not slay. Um, we can probably take the fancy pants here. And then let's buy the four glory and then roll. So I think we want to arrange something like this and probably even just cut this. I guess we'll leave it. We really don't want to... Uh, I guess I don't really care that much about the Sharon buff. We'll leave it for now. Ideally, we want this to find meteors would be really nice. We'll just see what we find on 4. I'm not worried about it as much. I, after thinking about it, I don't really care. Oh, that's a fucking disaster. We lose so much scaling here. Oh no, that sucks. We should be able to still get this four glory here, I think. Because uh, this happy little tree is going to be able to be strong enough, but that really sucks. We would have had so much stats on these. Lightning dragon skamazed. Alright, so we get a princess P. Not ideal there. Um, I really don't want this pig anymore, so I don't really want the pear. Five eleven, six fifteen. So we want to buff this one. I definitely think casting the spell is correct, and then I think I roll. All right, let's triple this. Uh, we should probably Hermes Boots. And... Makes this copycat a little bit more compelling. It's still not very compelling, but it's a little bit more compelling. So we need a little bit more attack. I think I kind of want this other flourish as well. Don't really want another creeper, but I think maybe it's fine. So we, we really need additional attack on this because this thing is going to be really large if we do. So it gives it three attack per, which is really nice. Uh, I'd like to get rid of this Princess P pretty quickly here. Okay. 
Okay, side it's here, the pig hits here, it sits there and trades, and then we get to keep the pig gold. Okay, and we'll take that. Alright, so I do think I want to flourish again. Um, I believe that I just want rune stones in this spot, and then I'm gonna roll. I'm not sure if another creeper is really the best thing, but we really only have one unit right now. I think I just roll. I really can't be taking creepers in this spot. I would take the falling stars, lose my fancy pants buff, but I think that's all right. We're going to be going into five soon, and I, I don't necessarily mind holding out of this. I don't really want a pair of Princess Peas, do I? I hate peas so much. It is a six, so it's a ten. It's like the same size as this Frog Prince. No, that's awful. Unfortunate. That was a really bad turn. Really bad. That's good for us. I really don't want this frog to keep getting buffed. So it's here. This trades, this lives, and then we don't take damage. Okay. We could True Love's Kiss the P into a 5. I think that's fine. Uh, Wombat's pretty good, actually. I'd like to get rid of this Darkwood Creeper as well. Chupa. I don't think we're doing Chupa. We're not really doing Medusas either. What the fuck are we doing? Maybe Lady, but I really want the damn tree support, and we're just not finding it. Holy shit. This is really not great. We're fucking one minion Andy here. Like, actually just one minion... Which, it's good, it's very strong, and it's nice, but we're going to need something else. If we don't find, like, the, the Wombat is okay, but we really, really are going to need an upgrade after this. This is the absolute last turn that we can be fucking around like this. Pig. Rude. Okay. I mean, we're very strong. This happy little tree obviously is very good here. Um, but we don't know how big this skip is, and we just may die here. Like, we may take a ton of damage. Um, I don't really want the creeper. Again, it's still the same problem. Shoulder fairies is very good here, but has no attack. But it has a lot of butt, and this gives it a little attack right out of the gate. Uh, we could take the Wombats for the pair. I kind of want to get rid of this Good Witch. And then we can, like... Okay, so I'm down with doing this. And then I kind of want to use the Stone Skin on the Happy Little Tree. Maybe something like this, even. And then we know that this Wombat is going to get to attack, which is nice. 
This gives us the potential for a tier 6 treasure with the rune stones. We're going to need more attack, obviously, on the shoulder fairies here. Um, but we have a lot of potential with what we already have here. We really need to kill this Oni King before it just free farms us. That is not ideal. Okay, so this hits here, hit this one. It's not ideal. Our back row is so weak. Uh, getting the ton of extra attack there really cost us. So let's roll. Alright, we'll get our tier 6 treasure with this. That is huge. Super huge. So Ivory Owl is nice because it buffs everything. Singing Sword is also nice because it gives us more attack. I think Ivory Owl is what I want to be doing though. We're on... Um, we're on turn 11. So this is going to represent like plus 8, plus 8 or something to my whole team. Which gives this more health, gives these more attack. Yeah, I think that makes sense to me. Wand is also of consideration, but I think this is correct here. And then we'll Candy Rain. Which should give this plus 1, plus 1, and then we can roll. I don't believe that we need this creeper here. Again, for the same problem that we've been having with this creeper all game, which is that it's just not what we need. Um, this has got to go. Uh, these either need to be tripled or they have to go. But this should be plenty large enough to win combat for us here, though they do have embiggening stone on Galahad, which is pretty spooky. I really want a bit more attack on this so that it's more competitive of a unit, but this should do well for us, I think. As long as we're able to get a little bit more attack on it. Uh, I guess we don't have enough attack on it. Fuck. I really don't feel like we're weak and we just keep losing fights. So we'll take another shoulder fairies. Uh, we need to get some damn attack on these. Here, this will help a lot. Uh, we don't need this. Let's roll. Uh, I don't care for copycat, though it is interesting with the wombats. Uh, and the first attack, it's not really what I want to be doing. I would really, really rather set myself up for these shoulder fairies to be better going forward. Uh, that's not what I want. Let's roll. Double Baba. Okay, so I think what we're doing is this. Do we have any idea what Endo's playing? Probably a similar happy little tree build, I would guess. I'm hoping that with the Falling Stars plus the Ivory Owl that we're going to be big enough in this combat. Um, I do want to keep scaling the Wombats some, but we're going to need to like do something with these Creepers soon. nice. It's pretty good, actually. This thing shooting is giving us a lot of extra attack here. Okay. So, we didn't quite get as much attack as I would like on this. We are at 6, so if we find an Ashwood, it's going to help a ton. Uh, that maybe was not ideal. I don't think I want to switch my hero power. Uh, not for a little bit yet. It's possibly something that we'll consider down the road. Uh, I don't think we need to mix a whistle against the bot. I think we can just roll out and see if we can find a an Ashwood. Perfect. Okay, so let's get out of this cat that we just bought and buy this Ashwood. 
And then let's roll. So we don't want to make the Ashwood good. That doesn't really help us. We want it to be evil, which it is. So this is perfect. Uh, Robin Wood is... Interesting. Though maybe not necessary. Maybe this Heartwood Elder is better. We could cut this, play Heartwood Elder for some turns, where we can. We give plus two to both of these. Is it better just a blessing here, then? Rather than buying a whole unit. We're going to do this, because it buffs from this. And I don't really care as much about the Wombats. They're going to get cut, likely, if we're not able to triple them. So they are quite big, but they were scaling just a single unit. Okay, this beats this. Perfect. We really need Echo Wood now. I think is where we're at. Um, Endo switched to Sad Dracula. So this is the big ass um, problematic dwarves. So we really need maybe Cupid. So if I look at Galahad from the last time, they were just very large things with Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do. Maybe we do Cupid. So we can sell one, two, three. But then we would lose our scaling. And we would be down a unit. I think... I think we'll just lock for it. Um, I, rather than playing down a unit, I think we just lock for it. And hopefully this Cupid... in this slot is enough to... sort of carry us. Maybe we don't Creeper, maybe we Heartwood Elder. We give these another four, eight, yeah, no, I don't think we do. I think the Creeper still makes sense. I think, I think we want this because we have Hermes Boots. This gives us a chance of actually scamming something. A Medusa probably would have been better, but the Cupid has a lot of potential here as well. So that's pretty huge. So this is not great. Uh, that hit was probably the worst one. Okay. So we're not gonna die, though they are enormous. So let's upgrade our Wombat here. I think we probably take Sword of Fire and Ice over the Fancy Pants. And then let's roll looking for Echo. Okay, so that's awesome here, actually. So how much gold do we have? This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's enough to buy them. We sell that, this, this, and I believe that we sell this as well. So we buy this, we buy this. So I'm trying to figure out what our best positioning is here. And if we actually need this creeper anymore. Or if we should just be running another fairies. Why 
Let me see what Pied Piper was running last time that we encountered them. Uh, we haven't seen them for basically forever, so we don't know. I think our board is really strong here. I just am not sure if we need to be running this creeper still, or if we can afford to run this creeper still. The creeper only makes us a little bit stronger, but it gives us the ability to scale all of our units some. I think this is what I run. They are Mirror Mirror Black Prism Mimic, huh? Not really sure how... Oh fuck, that sucks so bad. We really need this Wombats to get killed here. Oh no, disaster. Do I die here? Fuck. Maybe this pumpkin will end up scamming itself. It did, a little bit. So that's good. Okay, so we have a chance here. This Wombat is still really strong. Okay, we're fine. That was a bit of a disaster, though. Alright. Let's see where... Okay, so Endo died, so we're fighting just this Galahad here. Okay, so let's look at our Galahad's board again. So they have a big-ass dragon, so we want our back row to be pretty beefy. I don't think this Green Knight really does that much for us. We'd be cutting the Wombat, which I think is probably stronger than... Um, like, we can do something like this. Yeah, I think we just roll. Uh, I, I would like to find a combat spell here, I think. Um, fog doesn't do a ton. It's okay. It interacts with, like, one of their things. Um, that's good. We can't actually buy it this turn. Uh, I think we actually hit this thing. Weirdly. Okay. I think we're going to be fine here. They do have a big-ass Grumblegore now. But our Shoulder Fairies that's upgraded in the back is a bit bigger than that. We finally broke that, so they're just a bit smaller. Do I need this at all? Let me revisit what they were playing. So they had... 200, 200, and then a bunch of shitters, basically. I don't really need more attack. It's sort of my conclusion. Which means that I don't really need this. I need more of this. More than I need more attack. Yeah, this is a good pickup here. So we can mimic the Ivory Owl. Which I think is pretty good. We could also mimic the sword. Which might be better. Actually, you know what? We don't need Hermes boots. Oh my god. I just inted for no reason. Oh, that's so good. Holy shit. Uh, is that enough to just kill them here? Well, that'll do. Didn't even need to lock for, for the next game. Oh, we'll take it. 
I guess we can just run down a thing. That's fine. Our units are very large. Large. Uh, so checking in with the other lobbies, it looks like they are... Uh, probably also done. 